How's it going guys? Welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. Uh, there have been a lot of changes since my last upload. I have now put in about 24-ish hours or so into it. Maybe, yeah, 23 hours and 9 minutes. Uh, I have unlocked everything completely. Actually, hold on a minute. Let me see. Let me see this. Um, yeah, pretty much... I think I've pretty much done everything. Fastest victory is 41 minutes. Pretty good. But yeah, I'm missing one relic. And I've discovered one extra card that is in the game. But as you can see, I've I've pretty much done it all. I'm missing some achievements. Quite a few of them, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I've decided that instead of just uploading like per floor, because I feel like it's a little annoying, I will upload per um, like per run, like from now to death. Um, in my 20 plus hours I have discovered that rare relics are really good like that there you go I can now conserve my energy through turns not rare relics specifically I guess but relics are a lot more important than I like may have been thinking about them I'm gonna erase it a little bit I don't know if it's just me but it seemed a little quiet but yes yeah, so now as you guys can see I conserve energy so I don't have to specifically use all of it because I will just be able to um, use it later obviously here damage will be taken will be taken no matter what I've also learned not to really worry too too much about the um my like HP per fight I should really just be concerned about not dying against the boss because if I don't die against the boss then I get healed back to full health I can't kill him so we'll defend Obviously, I still, I don't, I'd rather make it to the boss pretty alive, so that would be good as well. Um, oh, that was that was silly of me. I could have killed him. I haven't played in a couple days, probably like four, four or five days. I just got back from PAX. I didn't, I mean, I played video games at PAX. I just didn't play my own video games because it's not where I live, so I had to go out of town and take anything. We'll take Cleave. I'm going to pretty much do all the question marks. Uh, ah, man, normality's like pretty bad. And I didn't really get a good card. Actually, I did because I can just pay 50 to get rid of it. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'll just go to the shop. I was going to go the question mark route, but I think I'll go to the shop instead. And uh, remove normality. Hopefully there's nothing else I really wanted from here that I could have afforded. I had, what, 113? I will take a flex. Because flex for 20 is uh, it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, three attacks gain one strength. That's not bad. I'm over here trying to skip my enemy, dude. I, I don't want to fight him. I hope I draw... Not, not what I drew. Um, I guess I, I can flex and then strike. I was hoping to draw Cleave. Cleave would have been pretty good in this situation, I think. Because, you know, I would have dealt damage to both of them and ignored their curl up for the most part. Oh, there we go. I think we can win with Cleave. And we gain one strength. Not that it matters. Metallicize. Oh, man. Like, every time I take it, my runs don't end up very well. We'll upgrade it though. Yeah, my runs tend to not do very well when I take Metallicize. But it's a card that I like. I will lose 11 HP for 75 gold. Because gold can buy you relics and I can always rest. Back up to pretty much full. That's a boss treasure. I hate, I still like, I hate the Geria so much. Uh, find loot. Couldn't find anything. I still didn't find loot. What? That's a little odd that I wasn't able to find loot. Yeah, metallicize. Strike, strike. I didn't even have enough to play three attacks. So it doesn't matter. Oh, I hate this guy. I could... Could lose, actually. I think I bash... Yeah, I could easily lose. Is this like that dexterity and strength down is really bad? 
Oh man. Yeah, this is this is gonna end pretty poorly. I was gonna do the elite enemy right after this, but I may not be strong enough to do so. See, like in this situation, there's no point in me defending, so I'll, I'll have an extra defend. But yeah, this dexterity and strength means eventually I'm just not gonna deal any damage at all. I'd rather just take the damage and get the strength upgrade. I could have used an extra defend there now that I think about it. Probably should have, but it's, it's a little late. I think we flex, we bash. We go pretty much all in, try to recuperate as much strength as I can. It was like, I, th I think I'm gonna win. Like, I don't think I'm gonna lose unless I only draw defense. I guess once again, there was no point in me doing that, but it doesn't matter. He has 2 HP. I will kill him almost no matter what happens, especially because most of my defense are already drawn, so I have to draw at least 2 strikes. Uh, Mercury Hourglass is pretty good. Carnage, just straight up 18 damage. Yeah, we'll take Carnage. I guess there's also something to be said for not taking anything. Uh, no, I'm so, I can't do the elite enemy. Cultus is a little, a little tough for sure, especially early on. But I think I'm gonna be able to kill him without taking damage. I have the fire potion. Should I need it? Don't believe I will. We'll do that. Thirteen. I could have killed him with the strike as well, but why risk it? I like Feel No Pain, I really like Whirlwind though, I have I have become a huge fan of Whirlwind. Do I need to get rid of anything? I think technically not. Non-boss chests also contain cards, it's not bad. Um, yeah, actually I'll just, I'll take that. I can also take Clothesline, 12 damage, 2 weak. I just, I don't like cards that cost 2, typically. I could gain one strength, but I'd rather rest. I'd rather go into the boss fight with full HP. Because I know I said earlier that it doesn't matter how much HP I have at the end. I mean, I might as well use the strike, right? It doesn't matter how much HP I have at the end. It really just matters that I don't die against the boss. But having more HP at the end makes it much easier to not die <laughs> against the boss. So we'll flex. Might as well cleave. I don't really want to strike him, but... I didn't want to become vulnerable, but I guess it doesn't matter if he's not attacking. I can kill him guaranteed next turn. I'm still not very good at this game. I've just uh, been slightly more successful at it than I used to be. But even then, not by much. Exhaust all non-attack cards. I will take... I'll take Warcry. I don't really have a whole lot of exhaust synergy at the moment. And that time I probably should have lifted just to have a permanent upgrade. Um, especially with a dexterity potion. But now that I'm fighting this guy, I'm pretty happy with my decision because he deals he deals a lot of damage. So I will just poison him for no real reason other than because I want to. But this first turn is gonna hurt. I have to carnage or it'll be gone. Uh, I should have I should have done that first. I should have drank the dexterity potion first. I would have had a little bit more block, but it's okay. Yeah, see, I I'd be in a really bad spot had I not healed. Uh, so I'll metallicize. Strike, strike. That way, I'm only gonna take two damage anyways. Um. um, 10 damage, so flex, 24, I could just straight up deal 24 damage, except that I'm going to take some, so if I defend that drops to 16, which makes just doing this better. As much as I like Whirlwind, it's only pretty much good 
against a lot of enemies. Okay, he's not attacking, so we might as well just strike him. Go all in, get a strength upgrade. I don't think I'm gonna die. Like, I'll only die if he gets all six of the round. Okay, yeah, we carnage again. Defend one of his two strikes, so we take three damage, go down to 28. Still doing good, still doing all right. Eight damage. We're gonna just have to eat it. I got another strength upgrade. We only take four and we get burned. I wish if you blocked it, you didn't get burned. Obviously, I know that I didn't block it, but like. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, if I was able, like, if I blocked the entire eight damage hit, like there, I don't feel like I should get burned, but. Okay, so 30 damage. I have to just pretty much block all out. Because I'm not going to die to it. But I am going to come close. All these extra burns also are not going to help. And uh, we have to use the fire potion or I will die. But... We lived. I do like feed. I can no longer gain gold. I think not. No longer gaining gold is not that bad. It's not like I have a lot of gold to begin with, which I guess you could see is the exact opposite. As maybe uh, I should have waited until I had more gold. Oh man, I hate. I hate this parasite. Metallicize will defend and will defend. Oh, and I have extra stuff. See, like there, I shouldn't have attacked. I could have saved that extra energy to pretty much go as hard as I can on him. Which I guess is what I'll do from now on. Like, if he still has armor left, I just won't attack. Take one damage and he heals one. That's okay. Um... I think we cleave. As much as I'd rather not use feed yet. Actually, I mean, I don't have to use feed yet. It's the other thing. I obviously don't want to take just like an unbelievable amount of damage. Because at that point, it won't really matter. I feel like this turn, I think I can just defend twice. End my turn. Um, well, this turn, I, I'm, I'm gonna take damage. Well, yeah, we flex and just strike a whole bunch. Unable to get the kill. We take six damage. But I think I win next turn. Like, I, th I might just win this turn. Yeah, okay. Could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse. We'll take a dual wield. I have no clashes, which is... Clashes has been a pretty big part of my victories. Oh man, dude, I don't have anything, like, really good to give these guys. Maybe I'll give them, like, Carnage. Oh, okay, they healed me back to full. Um, because I'm not... I don't think I'm taking too much advantage of Carnage. It requires Jax. I don't have Jax, so I'll take a Relic. Pron scales are good. Good relic, good relic. 75 gold to remove a card. I mean, I don't think I need a card removed. But it'll use up the rest of my gold that I'm not going to use up anyways. So that could have been good. Maybe I should have given him the gold. Now that I think about it. I mean, here I can do this to deal like 20 damage. And then just kind of pass it on. Maybe I should I should have done cleave and then that I would have dealt 22 damage. I can't use skills as, against this guy. Metallicize is not a skill. 
Except that you will take some damage. But if I take no more damage, then I'm good. Well, flex is a skill. Flex. I think I flex and dual wield that one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill him. Oh, I will, and I will gain my HP. Okay. So that went that went pretty well. Um, since I don't have any clashes, I think I take Wild Strike, and then I hope to draw Evolve or yeah, like Evolution. Um, so that whenever I draw a wound, I also like I draw another card. That would be a pretty good synergy. These guys abandon combat if I kill their leader. Um, but I think this is a good start. Because he's just, he's going to buff himself up, but he also would have buffed them up. Not that it matters too, too much, but if I can pretty much get them always killed... I think I'll be good. So we just bash and strike. If I can get them killed every turn, then he doesn't really attack. Because he isn't... He, if I'm not mistaken, he pretty much just always brings them back, no matter what happens. So I think we cleave. I feed on one. I could just... I could go for that easy kill. I don't need to. I also don't need to attack. Oh man, okay, so I should have killed that guy last turn also, because then he wouldn't have attacked me. But I think I'm good, because I just defend twice. I guess I'll strike him so that he summons another one next turn. I shouldn't have taken this damage, for sure. That was... This is a little silly of me. Could have easily just not taken this damage. Because if I had killed that guy, he would have rallied, and all thing was gonna, and all was gonna be good. But I, I, I'll kill him this turn. It's okay. And I killed everyone that turn, so it's even better. Regal pillow could be good. Could be good. I'll take another wild strike. I probably should have taken another dual wield, but I think another wild strike is good. Lift to gain some more strength. Treasure. Next two chests also. Well, the next two chests contain two relics. Not super ideal because I'm not gonna have many more chests, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I kind of think I take combust here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more chests. Um, I think I go this way. Heal. Hope that it's not the book. It is the book, so I just lose. I genuinely don't believe that I'm strong enough to defeat this book. I can make him weak so he deals less damage, but I'm not... I don't think I'm strong enough to beat him. Like, I just, I actually don't think I'm strong enough to beat this guy. Oh man. I guess I'll defend, bash, wild strike, since I'm gonna have a lot of wounds anyways. Six damage, wound. I mean, flex. Wild strike, this strike, and then we'll win. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill him next turn. This didn't go as horribly as I want. I'm gonna take 16 more damage. I'm gonna be at 50. Oh no, he's. Oh, because I have the scales. Okay. Darkstone pair pet. That's really good. I think it's pretty good. Because I like getting cursed anyways. I pretty much always get cursed at every chance I get at a question mark. This fight might be a little tough unless I can. If I had drawn like a turn one 
whirlwind, I would have been much happier. But we can't all have what we want, so I'll just wait. Hopefully, get a turn two whirlwind. Turn two whirlwind would also be good. Turn one whirlwind would have been ideal. Okay, um, a whirlwind. Any, any whirlwind right now would be good. I can't quite kill two of them, so I'll just accept that. I actually, probably. No, I think I could have gotten them within combust range. Turn three whirlwind, whirlwind, not ideal. Oh, but is ideal with feed. Eleven damage three times, so that kills them. Um, take thunderclap. I think we go this way. Lift our third and final time. Come in. Oh, it's a shop. I don't have money. I have 83. Oh, I can take Evolve. Okay, well. We got something good out of it. We got Evolve. We can now just continue to rest. People might get upset that I'm resting a lot instead of uh, upgrading my cards. I don't care too, too much for upgrading. Uh, Thunderclap and Vulnerable. Cleave. Strike. Technically, the feat is better because it deals more damage, but I don't really care. I should have used my strength potion. Well, I still can. So we'll flex. We'll inflame. And then I think we just whirlwind. And technically, I should strike and then whirlwind. Actually, hold on. Because 16 times 3 is 48, if I'm not mistaken. So no, it won't kill them. But we'll go for it. It puts them closer to being dead. Stasis. As long as I don't stasis my cleave. Oh, and if they attack me, they just die. What card did you take? Oh, it doesn't matter. You died. Evolve. Metallicize. Should have dual wielded probably the metallicize. Now that I think about it. Or actually, I should have dual wielded. No, yeah, the metallicized, so I could have had eight block instead. Do I think this is gonna take another five turns? No. Do I think I could potentially die? Yes. Wild strike, wild strike, defend. Regular strike. Heal a bit. I should. Now I wish I had, you know, if I take damage. Uh, you know, just become better. I might as well flex and then cleave. I could have Warcried to draw more cards, but I would have been left with one energy. That's not exactly worthwhile to me. 51 damage. Thankfully, we drew some blocks there. It's still going to be a little close. But now he's just gonna be stunned, right? Okay. Which means I actually can just feed off of the boss. I wish feed did a lot more if it was from the boss. Like if I fed off the boss, it just makes me a lot better. Take double tap. I like the middle one there, but not not as much. Oh man, astrolabe. I've taken Astrolabe a lot of times off camera and it usually works out decently well for me. So we get rid of Bash because I don't like Bash. We get rid of a Strike and a Defend. Sentinel C, like that, that worked out much better for me. Sentinel, Heavy Blade, and a more powerful Wild Strike. <clears throat> the Heavy Blade may not be as useful. Um, now on this floor. I like to avoid combat as much as possible. Obviously, I mean, I have to go into combat at first. But. So flex. I think we thunderclap them. Except that I'm going to take some damage. Combust. And end my turn. I can technically kill them by combusting because their thorns will kill them, and if they hit me, they will also take damage. 
or I can inflame and just deal 33 damage with whirlwind, take a lot of damage myself. But it's okay, because if I rest, I pretty much get all of my health back. Almost guaranteed. I don't think I could ever buy anything for 15 gold. I can't. I can't buy anything. And since I didn't take the Black Star, I don't feel pressured to fight the, uh... The elite enemies. I'm, like, not pressured at all to fight them. Okay, well, we're gonna take... We're gonna take some damage here, for sure. I will use the feed, because I don't think I'm gonna draw it again by the time I finish this fight. I should have used my block potion there. But I think I'm guaranteed to win. I could have killed him just with that one, actually, but vulnerable is good. It's good practice, you know, to always use vulnerable cards first, or cards that make them vulnerable first. Oh man, I don't think that's worth it, just because as long as this doesn't have combat, I'll be able to heal. So I don't think like 10 max HP is worth it. I've never done this, I've never given this guy the gold idol. I'm going to trust that there's not going to be combat in this room. I'm also going to trust that it's not going to kill me. Um, I mean, I guess I'll take the poison potion. It's not exactly good. Or it's, I mean, it's good, but it's not like good for me. So I'm going to heal almost to full. All things considered, I think it was worth it. Oh, fuck. Oh man, this guy's gonna hurt. I should have done strike first and then wild strike. I can't up my strength at all either, so this guy's just gonna ruin me. He's gonna weaken me for one turn. Flex. Feed whirlwind. I don't really need to block. I could lose against the the head, giant head, whatever. Combust, defend, double tap, wild strike. I mean, I'm dealing a lot of damage to him, right? Don't get me wrong, but I'm not dealing nearly as much as I should be for what he's gonna do to me. Oh, so that's gonna go. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. 44 now. So thunderclap to make him vulnerable. Evolve just because I can. 85 damage strike. Much better. The three week is probably gonna save my life against his like 100 damage attack or whatever it is. That's just 30. It's actually not as bad as I thought. So with 22, much better. Metallicize and flame cleave strike. The sound, like the volume fluctuates a lot it seems. I'm gonna like lower it just a tiny bit again. It's really just the music that fluctuates a lot. Yeah, because now every turn he's just going to attack me for a while. Wow, okay, hold on. We have, we have too many wounds in our deck right now. I have made a horrible mistake by having only wounds. I should use my block potion. he just like basically straight up kills me if I don't kill him next turn I should have used my post my poison could have dealt a little extra damage to him by now can I deal 58 damage this turn is the question I can with heavy blade okay a little closer than I would like it to Vajra is good 
because Vajra guarantees strength, and I already have guaranteed strength, so I have like four extra strength just all the time. Which means my heavy blade is just unstoppably strong. I kind of want to, like, I want to dual wield wild strike and then double tap the wild strike, so I just have three wild strikes this turn. I don't think I can kill any of them. Okay, well, I mean, I can literally kill that one. And I think I should. Because that way I don't take any damage at all. Because any damage right now is a little, little heralding for sure. I have 10 HP. Um, if I can't just kill this guy, I think I lose. Well, I don't lose, I guess. I can just do that. He dies for sure. I didn't need to use that. I could have taken three damage. They're gonna lifelink a lot of times. Um, not very efficient at fighting these guys. Flex, defend, defend. Evolve, and we lose? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It was a good fight, though. Um, I just, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't get there. I couldn't get to it. Maybe I should have fought this elite, and then so that I could just, no, because I needed this health. I could have fully healed here, and then fought the elite, and then healed afterwards. This actually just seems like a much safer route. Alright, well... I tried my best. And look at that, it's 32 minutes long. Like, that's typically how long it took me to get past the first floor before. Right now, or the first level, whatever. I got to the 42nd floor. I almost fought the last boss. But yeah, there you go. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Goodbye.